Hi, I'm Jane Stafford from the School of Weaving, and I want to tell you about what we learned in season six. My goodness, what a jam-packed year. Um, we started the year off with an amazing PDF that illustrated uh, all the theory around the words units, blocks, and profiles. So it's quite a lovely PDF. There's PDFs for every episode. Then we jumped into our first weave structure and we spent the year learning uh, the basics of certain weave structures and pushing things that we had already done before. So last year, previously in season five, we had done an episode on turn twill, weaving with uh, two blocks on eight shafts for turn twill. This year, we came back to it, overlaid a new graphic on this stunning piece of fabric here, and wove eight different towels, changing the tie up all the time and the colors, and working our way through adding lace, adding basket weave, adding plain weave, oh my gosh, and just playing with so many ideas. So once we did that, which was sort of a, a, vis a revisit of something that we had done the previous year, we jumped into some four shaft structures, some good basic four shaft structures, and the first one that we looked at was overshot. We wove five stunning samples. I only have four here because I gave one away. But we wove five gorgeous scarves, playing with one threading and learning all kinds of things. We certainly didn't learn everything, but we learned a lot about what we can do with our treadling in, summer, in Overshot. Then we learned how to name draft. And I love name drafting. When you watch that episode, you'll, you'll get it. Anyway, this was the piece that was finished beautiful linen piece, and the words used to create this piece were good food. <laughs> then we moved along and we jumped into Monk's Belt, another supplementary weft structure. Oh, actually, I think we did, we did Monk's Belt before we did Overshot. We eased into Overshot by doing Monk's Belt first. So Monk's Belt, then Overshot, then name drafting. But again, we had fun with one warp, learning all kinds of ways to play with wefts and to play with our treadling and to put plain weave in and how to create texture in the weft. So much fun. Then, what did we do then? Then we did the traditional weave structure M's and O's. Or maybe we did crackle. I think was one of these two. We did so much. Let's look at M's and O's. Traditional M's and O's, and how can I take that traditional M's and O's and push it? And push it. One warp, four harnesses, playing with our treadling, playing with color, playing with texture, graphic, lines. Overlaying, overlaying, overlaying and then ending up with this stunning little piece at the end. All of this on one warp. Learning to play with color, learning to play with our treadling and our sequencing. Crackle, twill derivative. Oh my gosh. This we wove eight stunning pieces out of. All exploring all kinds of different ways to take crackle that can have a very strong diagonal line because it's coming out of the twill world. How we can superimpose what we know about summer and winter on it. How we can superimpose what we know about lace on it, which we learned last year. How we can make it look blocky and um, how we can intersperse plain weave. So many ideas. So many ideas. And then we did a whole episode on summer and winter. And summer and winter, we took a neutral warp. This is all four shaft weaving. Everything that we've looked at here, except for the very first one, set. Summer and winter, changing our colors up every time, changing the graphic. One warp, how to use color on that one warp. How to play with ideas with graphic on that one warp. Good theory, how we have a fabric that gives us a dark side and a light side. How to bring in different yarns. 
and put plain weave, more plain weave in it. Same thing here. And all the different styles of treadling it. And last, but certainly not least, we had a whole episode on learning how to do block analysis on more than four shafts. So we took it up to eight, we had six units, and my gosh, the pieces were just so stunning. We wove a snowflake, a Ukrainian snowflake, boxes inside boxes, crosses, so many things. So, with everything in the school of weaving, you get PDFs. So every episode is accompanied with all these amazing PDFs that you can download, print off, and follow along with. The episodes are upwards of three hours long and go in great detail. I demonstrate at the loom. Uh, we do a lot of theory at the blackboard. We have all that theory in our PDFs. And you get it all. <laughs> you get everything. You get all the previous seasons as well. So nothing ever goes away with the School of Weaving. It's always there. I hope you'll come and join us. Bye. Happy weaving. <laughs> <laughs>